Dahlia Reyes uh, Nunes, and I am studying to become a social worker, a uh, minor in psychology. I'm gonna say hi to everyone in my family, um, both here in the state and outside of the state, even though they're not gonna be here physically, but I'm sure that um, my mom is gonna record it right now, I'll be recording it, so she'll send it to everyone of my family members that are outside of the state. Hi, my name is Savannah Peterson. I am studying math, science, and engineering at GRCC. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. I hope you can enjoy my first graduation. I'm really excited. My name is Chakia McIntosh, and I ended up getting a general studies, but I took a lot of criminal justice classes. I want to give a shout out to my mom, my dad, and my support system, um, Ms. Stacia and Tom. My name is Andrea Glenn and I studied uh, just general biology. Uh, mom, dad, brother, sister, Bradley, and Rachel. Just, yeah. Hi, my name is Angela Scott and I'm studying in general studies. Um, hello to my husband, my kids, Lauren, Linnea, Ezekiel, my husband, Lawrence, and my parents if they can't or can't make it. Alexis, and I am studying social work. Yes, my mother, my best friend, my pastor, hopefully. Tanea Shepard, and my degree is in general studies and a certificate in addiction studies. All my classes for the past two years have been online, so I, this is my second time even coming down here. Online was awesome. It worked for me as far as, you know, my, my family life and working full time and different things, but online was awesome. So to everybody, congratulations.
Dahlia Reyes uh, Nunes, and I am studying to become a social worker, uh, minor in psychology. I'm gonna say hi to everyone in my family, um, both here in the state and outside of the state, even though they're not gonna be here physically, but I'm sure that um, my mom is gonna record it right now, I'll be recording it, so she'll send it to everyone of my family members that are outside of the state. Hi, my name is Savannah Peterson. I am studying math, science, and engineering at GRCC. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. I hope you can enjoy my first graduation. I'm really excited. My name is Chakia McIntosh, and I end up getting a general studies, but I took a lot of criminal justice classes. I want to get a shout out to my mom, my dad, and my support system, um, Miss Stacia and Tom. My name is Andrea Glenn and I studied uh, just general biology. Uh, mom, dad, brother, sister, Bradley, and Rachel. Just, yeah. Hi, my name is Angela Scott and I'm studying general studies. Um, hello to my husband, my kids, Lauren, Linnell, Ezekiel, my husband, Lawrence, and my parents if they can't or can't make it. Alexis, and I am studying social work. Yes, my mother, my best friend, my pastor, hopefully. Tanea Shepard, and my degree is in general studies and a certificate in addiction studies. All my classes for the past two years have been online, so I, this is my second time even coming down here. Online was awesome. It worked for me as far as, you know, my, my family life and working full time and different things, but online was awesome. So to everybody, congratulations. The 2022 graduation ceremony will begin in five minutes. Please find your way to the seat and we'll start our journey.
Live from the beautiful campus of Grand Rapids Community College in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan, we welcome you to the 105th commencement ceremony. Today we are celebrating the GRCC graduates with a special in-person and virtual commencement ceremony. Welcome the Muskegon Region Police Pipes and Drums. Also welcome today's dais, including the president of Grand Rapids Community College, the faculty association president, members of the Grand Rapids Community College Board of Trustees, the provost, the interim dean of the School of Arts and Sciences, the keynote speaker, the emeritus faculty recipients, and the distinguished alumni award recipient.
Now, please welcome the Grand Rapids Community College graduating class of 2022.
Also, please welcome the faculty of Grand Rapids Community College. They are led by their respective deans and associate deans. You may take your seats. Please welcome the president of Grand Rapids Community College, Dr. Bill Pink. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh my goodness, are there people in here? Good afternoon. Okay, so our, my, our staff here who help make this happen won't be surprised when I say I'm gonna go a little off script here because of how important this day is. Now, this is a day of celebration and graduates, as happy as I know those people are and proud of you, you ought to be thrilled at the fact that you are, as of today, already a college graduate. There aren't, there aren't all that many people in this world that can make that acclamation. You are one. And we get to celebrate you today, but there's so much we have to get done today, so I'll get all kinds of signals of, hey, keep going. So, I want to welcome all of you, family, friends, our faculty, our students, our graduates, and all those who are in attendance today. Thank you and welcome to this 2022 Grand Rapids Community College commencement. It is our institution's 105th ceremony, celebrating the accomplishments of our graduates. This academic year, over 1,300 1, students will have received a certificate or a degree that encompasses programs of study from psychology to automotive technology. We have today more than 400 graduates participating in our ceremonies, either here in person or some who are participating virtually. So welcome to that audience as well. So while much has changed since GRCC was founded as the state of Michigan's first junior college in 1914, with 49 students studying topics from biology to Latin to mathematics, while much has changed in that time frame, there are a lot of things that have remained the same. We are always, have been, and will be an institution committed to fostering not only the academic growth and success of our students, but also your success in life. And tonight, we're gonna to celebrate those successes. And in addition to recognizing our students' achievements, we're gonna honor people who have contributed to our college and who have contributed to our community. 
Let me ask you to join me in recognizing and thanking the Muskegon Regional Police Pipe and Drums and the GRCC Instrumental and Choral Ensembles, which have and will be performing tonight. Please help me in thanking what you just heard in walking in. So if you are able at this time, I would ask that you rise for the singing of our national anthem by Anastasia Fiorenzo. Anastasia is a student here at GRCC in our music program. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled You may be seated. If you would, at this time, please join me in a moment of silence so that each one of us can express our appreciation in our own way for the bright future of these graduates and everything that has gone into them reaching this day. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Right now, it's my pleasure to introduce to you our guest of the evening, and I'm going to ask you to please hold your applause until all of the guests have been recognized. It is the group that is on the stage, on the dais this evening. Kathleen Brunsma, Trustee Brunsma is our board secretary, and she is an attorney with McShane, McShane and Bowie Law. Salvador Lopez, Trustee Lopez is president of K-Connect here in Grand Rapids. Daniel Williams. Trustee Williams is president of the Steelcase Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm welcome for our Board of Trustee Representatives this afternoon. So I want to introduce to you other guests who are on the stage with me this afternoon. Dr. Brian Canettle, the GRCC Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs. Dr. William Faber, Interim Dean for the School of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Frank Connor, Psychology Department Professor and Faculty Association President. Paul Krieger, the 2022 Faculty Emeritus Award recipient and retired professor here at GRCC of Biological Sciences. Lloyd Weiner, our 2022 Distinguished Alumni Award recipient. And Birgit Close, former president and CEO of The Right Place and tonight's keynote speaker. Please give the rest of our guests a warm welcome this evening. Please note that many graduates are joining us virtually today along with family and friends. I encourage those today who are joining us virtually to use the chat feature to celebrate this major lifestone throughout the ceremony this evening. I would also like to recognize those of you who are parents, family, friends, and others who are here supporting our graduates this evening. Thank you for your support that you've given, and I'm sure our graduates would agree that they probably would not have made you and made it to this moment without you. Graduates, I want to give you an opportunity right now in your own way to please thank your family members and those who are in attendance today for your support.
Yeah, I was hoping none of you are going to go out and give high fives and everything. We can do that later, okay? So uh, now it's my pleasure to welcome to the uh, podium our provost, Dr. Brian Canetto, to recognize the Faculty Emeritus Award recipient. Dr. Canetto. Thank you, Dr. Pink. It is my pleasure to introduce our Faculty Emeritus Award recipient for 2022. In 1991, Paul Krieger landed his dream job, biology professor at Grand Rapids Community College. He spent decades teaching courses in anatomy, physiology, general biology, personal health, while watching with pride as his students went on to careers in nursing, dental hygiene, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and medicine, among others. Professor Krieger knows the satisfaction that comes from finding out what you are meant to do. He found a way to combine his passions for art and science while a student at Grand Rapids Junior College. After earning his associate's degree in 1984, he received a bachelor's degree in biology from the University of Michigan and a secondary teaching certificate. He went on to earn a master's degree in biological sciences from Wayne State University in 1991. He began his teaching career in high schools in Jackson, Michigan and China before returning to GRCC where he worked for 28 years. He retired from the college in 2019. Professor Krieger is author and illustrator of four books and the, the four book visual analogy guide series, which covers anatomy, physiology, and chemistry. As we celebrate Paul Krieger, please join me in watching this tribute. Paul deserves to be named emeritus because he really cares about students. He was very concerned about what the students learned, what they were going to do with their education, and that really makes him a complete teacher. He brought me on and I was fairly new to teaching. I had only been teaching for about three years and he not only mentored me and would check in on me and share materials and was super collaborative, but he also didn't treat me that I was new to the field. He also listened to me and wanted to share my ideas and hear what I was doing and um, thought that I had value to add. Paul's always had a love for science and art and education and he is a, a natural artist. I've always been a real visual learner and uh, I think it makes me very keenly aware of all visual learners and how important visuals are in science and probably every discipline besides science. He's always been super innovative in the field. He has written this whole series of um, visual analogy to anatomy and anatomy and physiology and chemistry. And he takes these just everyday ideas and ways to relate to these very difficult concepts. And he's given um, these uh, tangible ways for students to remember them. You are an educator before you start your career as a teacher, a professor. And when you retire, that doesn't just turn off. I think it's important to remember folks like this because they've left such a mark on our lives as colleagues and the students' lives that they continue to leave their mark. And so he may not be here teaching with us, but he's still leaving his mark on the work that we do as educators and how that will affect the students that we teach. It is my great pleasure to bestow the 2022 Faculty Emeritus Award to Professor Paul Krieger. Thank you, Paul. And now, President Pink will return to the podium and will in introduce our Distinguished Alumni Award. 
Thank you, Dr. Canetto. I need to share some information with you today on who our Distinguished Alumni Award recipient is for this year. And graduates, I just want to tell you that when you see and hear the story of Lloyd Weiner, I'm hopeful that what you will think in your mind is, man, what do I do and how, how is it that one day I'd love to know that one of you comes back and we award you the same award. It is the highest award that we award our alum and this, this afternoon. We're going to award that to Lloyd Weiner. Lloyd has worked on engineering projects all around the world, starting his own company and served as an expert witness in building failure and liability cases. Weiner graduated from what was then Grand Rapids Junior College in 1949. He then went on to earn bachelor's and master's degrees in civil engineering from Michigan State University. I was almost sure someone was going to say go green when I said that, but anyway. I thought so. After serving in the Navy on the USS Ticonderoga, he joined J&G Daverman Company. His engineering work took him across the United States and to many countries. One of his most memorable projects was designing the original runways and taxiways for the Gerald R. Ford International Airport right here in Grand Rapids. And he checks up on those, uh, airport, on those uh, runways every time he flies out of the airport. In 1969, he co-founded the Grand Rapids Testing Service and Newhoff and Weiner Incorporated. He helped design buildings for Herman Miller, Amway, and, and foundries in Nuevo, Ionia, and Mexico. After selling his share in the business to his partner, Paul Newhoff, he worked for insurance agencies reviewing building liabilities and often testifying in court. Weiner and his wife, Suzanne, who passed away in 2018, established the Lloyd and Suzanne Weiner Scholarship through the GRCC Foundation. The fund targets students enrolled in STEM programs, science, technology, engineering, and math at GRCC. Lloyd has served on boards for the Salvation Army, Pilgrim Manor, IKUS Life Enrichment Services, and The Dwelling Place. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me right now in watching this video tribute to Lloyd Wynne. I uh, went to South High School and I uh, needed extra credits to graduate with my class because I hadn't done very well. And then I applied at Michigan Bell for a job, and they said if I had two years of college, they would consider hiring me, but not the way I was. And so I decided to go to junior college and get it. I continued, and as I progressed, I wanted to be an engineer, and as I progressed, I kept doing better and better. I decided, well, I don't think I'll quit here. I'll go on to Michigan State. The senior year in January, the Navy came looking for officer candidates. And I applied, and uh, they said they notified me. Well, it came June. June, I graduated, and I hadn't heard from them. And the draft board says, okay, now you can come with us. And then I was trying to decide what to do, and my father says, well, Jerry Ford's in town. He was our new representative at the time. And I went down there to talk to him, and he said, he could send a telegram, and the next day he'd get a response, so I'd know. So I went back the next day, and uh, he had my uh, telegram that said I'd been accepted in one class, and he signed it, and I took it over to the draft board, and they said, okay. Yeah, I, I came to work for an engineering firm here in town, in architectural and engineering. And they had gotten a job to do the airport. And uh, they were speaking to my boss behind me and said that they wanted him to be in charge of designing the runways and taxiways. And he said, no, he didn't want it. So I turned around and said, I'll do it. And they said, well, how do you know? And I said, well, I've been an all-weather air controller and I know what it's all about. And I can design it. Well, they said, okay. So, <laughs> so. So I designed the runways and taxiways for the airport. Yeah, I'd go out there to the uh, airport viewing area and watch the planes come and go. I do that quite often. It's nice to watch it. Well, the one thing I 
think is important to everyone is no matter where you are right now, whatever your desires are, you can do it. You just have to apply yourself and work hard. Sometimes it's not easy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to bestow the 2022 Distinguished Alumni Award for Grand Rapids Community College to Mr. Lloyd Weiner. Friends, one more round of applause for both Paul Krieger and Lloyd Weiner, our honorary recipients today. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Birgit Close, former president and CEO of The Right Place, as our keynote speaker. Under her leadership, The Right Place created or retained more than 50,000 jobs and stimulated more than $5 billion in new investments in West Michigan. Among the projects she worked on was the opening of MSU's College of Human Medicine and the creation of our Manufacturers Council. Since stepping down from the right place in 2021, where she had worked since 1987, Birgit has served as director for the New Community Transformation Fund, a venture fund she co-founded for entrepreneurs of color. She also serves on the International Crossing, Gerald R. Ford Airport, and Kent County Grand Rapids Convention Area Authorities and Boards, and also Boards of Makatawa Bank, ADAC Automotive, and Priority Health. Birgit is a native of Germany, graduated from Western Michigan University and the University of Oklahoma's Economic Development Institute. She also completed the National Development Council's Economic Development Finance Program and also attended Harvard University's Executive Management Program. She is also an honorary, has an, holds an honorary doctorate degree in business from Davenport University. I will tell you that over seven years ago, when my, my family, when we were still living in the state of Oklahoma and when we had found out about uh, the position that at that point I was applying for at a Grand Rapids Community College somewhere in Michigan. When we were looking at that in Oklahoma and I was talking to one of my colleagues in Oklahoma City and I was telling her that I was going to go to uh, the state of Michigan, going to Grand Rapids Community College to become a vice president um, of workforce development at that institution. And that friend who was really big in economic development, she said, you know, there's a woman there in Grand Rapids, and she is one of the most prolific economic developers in the country. You definitely need to get to know her. And when I got here, I found Birgit Close. And I saw the work that I just read to you about her impact on not only West Michigan, not only the state of Michigan, but people like Birgit, she has a global impact because of the work and having been raised in Germany and how she still goes back home and how she still has so many fingerprints on the work that happens here in West Michigan. So when I met Birgit, it was one of those relationships that you could tell right off the bat, this is an individual who truly gets things done for our state, for our region, for our community. I'm proud to call her a friend, proud to call her a colleague, and proud to call her a friend of GRCC. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our keynote speaker for this afternoon, Birgit Close. Well, thank you, Bill. I should call him Dr. Pink, but I call him Bill because he really is a friend. And congratulations, class of 2022. I'm so proud of you. Thank you all for allowing me to share this important day with you. And it's also a privilege to be here with you for all the, with all the people who have supported you and had a tremendous impact on your life, your family and your friends and your professors who have supported you and encouraged you as you pursued your education. Congratulations to all of you too. This is your day too. I would also like to thank Grand Rapids Community College and Dr. Pink. To work with Dr. Pink has been a privilege when he came to Grand Rapids, the college, and to West Michigan. He's a visionary leader, I think you all know that, 
and we are fortunate he came to this community to share his many gifts with us. And while he's moving on to Ferris State University, he will be maintaining his presence in West Michigan and in the region and continue to share those gifts. Thank you, Bill, and congratulations, and you're not getting out of lunch. <laughs> Just saying. So GRCC has been and continues to be, as Bill mentioned, for 105 years, a critical institution for higher and continued education in West Michigan. This urban campus has played a vital and important part in the city, its culture, and its revitalization over the last many years. But I also congratulate Bill and the faculty for reaching out to the Lakeshore. Community colleges are often the first step for, most, for many of us into higher education, into continued education, and into lifelong learning. And so it was for me. As Bill mentioned, I'm an immigrant. I came here as a young woman from Germany, knowing nothing about this country except what I saw in the movies, which wasn't always realistic, and I absolutely knew nothing about the education system here. Nothing. And as I'm sure many of you in this audience, I had nobody in my family had ever gone to college before. My parents were 16 years old when World War II ended. They couldn't go to college. They had to go to work to support their families. When I left high school, I apprenticed. I apprenticed in retail management. We do apprenticeships in Germany a little different than here. It goes across very many different uh, areas. But it meant nothing when I moved to the United States because they really didn't understand apprenticeships back then. And so I had to see what I was going to do. I'm a young woman. I want to work. Actually, I have to work. I lived in Cedar Rapids, Iowa at the time, and somebody suggested I should check out Kirkwood Community College. And I did. It was intimidating, because nobody had ever gone to college, and I didn't even think they would accept me. But they did. And I enrolled in an office management program, and it changed my life. While my parents did not have the chance for post-secondary education, they always encouraged me to read, to continue learning, and to further myself. And while going to Kirkwood, I also got a job there, so I could support myself. We moved to Lansing after I graduated, and without that certificate from Kirkwood, I would have never landed a job. And I landed a job at a bank and in human resources. A few years later, I moved to Benton Harbor St. Joe, and because of the experience I had and because of the education I got at Kirkwood, I got my first job in economic development. It completely changed the trajectory of my life. I didn't, had no idea what economic development was, nor that you could have a career in it, but I knew I loved the work. And my first job was actually managing a workforce development program. This goes back a long way. But I also quickly figured out if I did want a career in economic development, I would need further education. And so I enrolled in another community college, Lake Michigan College, and I started taking business classes. And all the while, I kept working, because like many of you, I had to work while going to college. After graduating from LMC, I transferred those credits to Western and continued to work. And eventually, I graduated, and I eventually commuted to Kalamazoo to finish my degree. Like many of you in this room, I was a non-traditional student. I didn't have the choice to go to school and not work. I had to work. Eventually, I landed here in Grand Rapids, and as Bill mentioned, I landed the job of my dreams. For 33 years, I was the CEO of the right place. Along this journey, I had many people who encouraged me, supported me, mentored, mentored me, inspired me, corrected me, and advised me. They taught me many things including leadership, both in my job and in the community. So why I'm sharing all this with you? Well, I'm sharing it with you because there's a threat here, and it's called education. Education is the key. It was the key for me, or I wouldn't be standing here today. And it will always be the key, and it will be your key. You're getting a key today. 
a key to a room. Without that key, you wouldn't even get into the room. How you furnish the room, however, is up to you. The truly good news is, if you have your education and you're willing to work, this is no better time to be in this community, in Michigan, or the United States for that matter, because talent is the driver, period. Businesses can't hire talent fast enough, and there are positions available in every field. Talent drives economic development, and it drives healthy communities. Communities that retain people like you are the communities that will grow. These communities have a future because they have talent that is the future. That means you are the future. You are our future. What path does that set you on? It's your job to find that path. Don't worry about running into problems, sometimes dead ends. We all do, and you will too. It's how you handle those challenges that will make the difference. Make course adjustments and keep on learning. Because that's something else I want to share with you. You're going to have to be continuous learners. So you're sitting there, all of you, and say, oh, I'm getting my degree and my certificate, and she's already telling me I need to be a continuous learner. Uh, you're breathing a sigh of relief because you're finishing your education, and I'm telling you to be a lifelong learner. But what's critical today is that this is the beginning of your journey, not the end. Commit to continuously learning, and because the incredible rapidity of change simply demands it. Most of you graduating today, and most of you in the audience, have never lived without an iPhone, a laptop, or any of the other technology that tell you that the milk is running out in the refrigerator. But when I first moved to this country, and I was very homesick, and I could only talk to my mom on the phone, and I remember thinking, I wish somebody would invent a phone where I could see her face. Well, as you know, somebody did. It's called FaceTime, right? Or Zoom, or Teams, or whatever it is today. And we continue to see huge changes in how our life is impacted by technology. But there's also huge opportunities in those changes. General Eric Jinseki said, if you don't like change, you will like irrelevance even less. You don't want to be irrelevant. So embrace those changes and embrace the idea of lifelong learning. But today, today we celebrate you and your success. All of us in this room congratulate you and support you. You have accomplished a lot. To finish your education during one of the most difficult times in recent memory, during a pandemic, says a lot about all of you. It speaks to your resilience, your dedication, your determination, and your desire to succeed. So, equipped with the education and knowledge that you've gained here at the community college, I encourage you to go out and not just make a living, but make a life. Congratulations, and all the best to you. Thank you so much. Please, one more hand, Birgit Close, this year's keynote speaker. I'm often quoted as saying that I truly believe that Grand Rapids Community College is the best community college in the country. I love saying that. And the reason I love saying that is because it doesn't happen without having an absolutely rock star faculty and staff that work here. And at this point, I'd like to ask all faculty and staff and administration of this great institution to please stand and be recognized for the great work that you do for this community. Thank you. Okay, graduates, this is the moment you've been waiting on. I know you've been antsy. I know you've been sitting there going, okay, when are we going to get to it? We're getting to it. 
It's time to confer our diplomas, and this is the point that you've all been anticipating. This is the moment that the graduating class of GRCC 2022 will join hundreds of thousands of other graduates who are proud GRCC alumni. On behalf of the GRCC community and your family and friends, the GRCC family as well, I want to wish you the best as you take the next steps, whether that be to a career or to continuing your studies, or for many of you, both. We're proud to call you alumni, proud to call you part of the GRCC family. Presenting the candidates of, for confirmation uh, this afternoon are Provost Canettle and Interim Dean Dr. Faber. But before we begin, I need to call your attention to some of the students who have earned special cords and medallions being worn today. So to our, uh, to our guests, please, as, you, uh, as I read these, you will see various um, cords and ribbons around the necks of many of our graduates. This is what those mean. So students wearing gold ribbons with gold medallions are members of Delta Pi Alpha, who graduated this evening in the top 5% of this class. Congratulations. There are students who are wearing blue ribbons with a medallion. Those are members of Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society. They've earned a GPA of 3.3 or better. Students wearing blue and gold courts are members of our honors program. Students wearing red, white, and blue courts are being honored for their service to our country. Please give them a round of applause at this time. So you'll see students wearing a purple and white cord. Those are members of our Grand Rapids Promise Zone. Those are graduates today with the Promise Zone. The Grand Rapids Promise Zone ensures that all students who live within the boundaries of the city of Grand Rapids and graduate from one of the 25 public, public charter or private high schools in that area within the city of Grand Rapids have access to a free education through an associate degree or job training certificate at GRCC. Tonight is the first time that we will in this way celebrate our Promise Zone students as at the GRCC commencement. Congratulations to them. Another group that you'll see tonight wearing our blue and white cords are members of our middle college program. Now, let me explain to you the middle college. And some of you uh, parents who uh, do not know about the middle college and are trying to put students through uh, a college uh, program or a college degree, this one might make you mad when you find out how this works. Because the middle college program is a partnership between GRCC and several public schools that allow participating students to earn a high school diploma and an associate of arts degree in four years. They get both of those done. These students complete a 13th year of high school while also being enrolled in GRCC classes. So the way that works is that these students will enroll in the, into the middle college around their freshman, sophomore year, middle college, sorry. They enroll in that, oh yeah, there you go. Show it again, there you go. That's awesome. So what they do is they enroll in about their freshman or sophomore year in high school, they start taking GRCC classes, and they're still taking high school classes at the same time. They get to their senior year in high school, they're taking high school classes and GRCC classes, and then they go a 13th year. While all their friends are off to college and doing all these things, they're in, still in high school for an additional year, and they're taking more GRCC classes than they've ever taken in their high school career. And by the time that 13th year is over, as I told them earlier this evening at their reception, that 13th year is over, which is right now, when their friends are coming back from their freshman year of college, talking about how much debt they have and uh, all the things about uh, their freshman year, our middle school, our middle school, our middle college graduates are looking at their friends saying, you know what? I just graduated from high school and I also graduated my associate degree. I'm going on to the university and I paid zero tuition. <laughs> we are proud of those high schools that we have represented this, this afternoon with our middle college program. Thank you.
Now please welcome uh, back Provost Knettel, who will, be, uh, who will begin conferring the certificates and degrees. And one thing you need to know, one thing that we are I'm very animate about here at GRCC when it comes to commencement, we're not about being quiet. When you hear your, your student, your son, daughter, friend, spouse, whomever, when we announce their names, friends, this is celebration. We don't expect quiet, we expect cheering, we expect you to respond, okay? That's the deal we have. Provost Canetta. Thank you, President Pink. Will the marshals now present the candidates who will graduate with an Associate of Arts, Associate of Applied Arts and Sciences, Associate of Business, Associate of Fine Arts, Associate of General Studies, Associate of Music, Associate of Nursing, Associate of Science, and Certificate Programs. Interim Dean Faber will now present the candidates. Joshua Corneef. Tommy Navitkus. Kaylin L. Cummings. Naomi Joy Hoffman. Savannah Jolie Peterson. Kaylin Oatloff. Cassandra A. Asweeney. Elizabeth Jimenez. Hannah Morgan Nibalski. Josephine M. Zurich. Zahar Kamal Jahari Safula. DeAndre Jalen Jackson. Aaron M. Kosmerski. Andrea T. Glenn. Jordan L. Wilson. Sarah Joffrey Lacey. Cassandra Colorado Belterra. Rana Abdulkadar. Abby Lynn Hask. Caitlin Joe Phillips. Heidi Garland. Jasmine Silva. Emma M. Ernest. Angel Hernandez. Nicholas Hernandez. Bella D. Mosquita. Shelby M. Beeman. <laughs> Deanna Lizeth Gutierrez. <laughs> Jakaya Jatesha McIntosh. <laughs> Soledad Solgado. <laughs> Candace Ann Maurer. Brianna M. Hayes. Lacey DeCracker. Tani M. Casey. 
Marcus D. Hurd. Maddie R. Wheeler. Eden Gill. Mackenzie Bernice Nichols. Andrew J. Meister. Jordan Edward Meyer. Rachel Ann Ells. Sierra J. Rose. Sydney E. Hudson. Jessica M. Pullen. Emily Delves. Emily K. Davis. Marcy Taylor Eldridge. Nicole L. DeYoung. Michelle Ann Natalia Davida Morrill. Rachel Faith McKee. Melanie G. Orzoko Zavala. Sharde L. Fudge. Coleman Surveyanek. Isabel Leanna Koger. Alexa G. Monahan. Kevin Michael Resendez. Calista Ruth DeCracker. Bree M. Bouchard Bunnell. Liam Samuel Small. Stephanie Vasquez Perez. Kathleen Lisbeth Tavares. Lauren Nicole Dehan. Olivia R. Busamra. Madeline Ann Hansen. Drew Marie Stacy. Elena De Leon. Ava M. Tavarone. Vanessa Coley. Wardat Mabarak. Alondra Yamilet Sarone Salas. Ava M. Tavarone. April Menendez. Erminda Y. Perez. Melissa Hernandez Sanchez. Maya O. Bruno. Tara Black. Amani Kiera Parrish. <laughs> Vanessa Christy Bosalavar. <laughs> Gabrielle Marie McGree. <laughs> Alea Plusuk. <laughs> Jesse Lynn Rapune. Sarah Chenoweth. Maddie S. Boomgard. 
Gage C. Haywood. Parker J. Van Dyke. Chloe L. Myers. Gloria M. Alvarez. Audrey M. Visser. Caleb M. Menifee. Nicole K. Baker. Melissa Joyce Strayer. Sierra LeMay. Amelia Patricia Daniel. Alexis Grace Stegman. Logan Evans. Emily Larson. Erica Vasquez Hernandez. Angela E. Winters. Alexis E. Bonner. Angela Marie Scott. Jade Noel White. Derek A. Demersky. Elijah M. Veerson. Cameron Breen. Jason L. Kuima. Ramesh Kafli. Max N. Melder. Sophia Hanini. Julia Grace Crescell. Mariana Solos McLeod. Sydney A. Nauta. Liz M. Christensen. Michaela a. Pierce. Lindsay M. Green. Lexi G. Green. Liv Austin. Perla A. Vijaharil. Abby L. Shada. Saria Fagar. Giovanni Ortiz. Abigail R. Altman. Grace L. Sova. Olivia L. Waller. Ethan F. Plummer. Brooke H. Beck. Samantha Joanna Marie Magnan. Yasina Jasmine Santos Flores. Shane Nuri. Araceli Marroquin. 
Sherry Lynn Marie Sokolowski. Travis Mark Snyder. Zachary Jacob DeVries. Claire Marie Casterline. Taylor R. Yeager. Paige M. Claver. Brooklyn M. Michelle. Alexis Pope. Hannah Helton. Christian W. Leggett. Madison E. Ruth. Abigail Thomas. Rebecca Jean Clapp. Delfina J. Hernandez Key. Jennifer Vasquez Reyna. Fabiola Carrillo Espanbarza. Brandy J. Mendoza. Fabiola Garcia. Michelle Anthony McMillan II. David Lyle Stone. Mariah M. Redding. Joshua William Hahn. Yeah. Anel Bektas. Joycelyn Luna. Nolan M. Smith. Musare McSween. Sonny Danny Suvangza. Suzanne Marie Camps. Jade Elizabeth Roddy. Katrina L. Peterson. Angeline Rose Duff. Madeline Renee Hoover. Camille Renee Shannon. Corey Wright. Tiana Michelle Harris. Raquin Wheatley. India Whiteside. Anisha Easley. Kanaya Monet Blakely. Tianica N. Williams. Tanay Gray Ca Castro. Treasure L. Betcher, Belcher. Deshay N. Jones. Sanaya J. Lyons. Julia H. Julius. Wow. 
Dino Kopik. Jad I. Ramadan. Enjunaya Chanaika Liberd. Magenta Rose Cornell. Sarita M. Samora. Megan A. Whittingen. Kaisha Cross. Triana R. Star Thurman. Long Huang Tran. Olivia T. Galas. Andrea Panawa. Nelsie Mendez. Kakui A.C. Wright. Elizabeth Marie Preston. Veronica Joy Miller. Zania M. Holiday. Isabella Del Carmen. Andrea Rose Zelinsky. Emerson Weirda. Alan Jazelek. Dislatic. Dislatic. Angela, Angelica Marie Bell. Carter Del Rosario. Zena E. Emery. April Nicole Marsh. Layla Adams. Andrea Simone Adams. Adina Sika. Megan M. Meadows. Nate J. Mord. Elijah C. Mosley. Carlos J. Roland Rivera. Victor J. Uh, Victor Aguilar Jr. Anna Marie Feely. James J. Bryant. Elizabeth Castillo. Emmanuel S. Martin. Isabel Y. Martell. Megan Sebastian. Maricela N. Tomas Masaregos. <laughs> Diego E. Quintino. Joshua Carrera. Alberto Ramirez. Ronald S. Moore. Tiara Ann Garcia.
Jonathan Silva. Greg Hap DeWitt. Francisca M. Bell Shanahan. Stephen Anthony Carter. Andrea L. Wells. Darmika J. France. Unica C. Parti. Audrey M. Hilbrins. Kelsey L. Sievertson. Sharita L. Nobel Guerrero. Ashley M. Soto Morales. Parker Breezley. Tanaya L. Porter. Christine Lee. Tai Twa Dang. Terrence D. Moore. Huang Y. Ni Win. Ayana M. Brown. Cassidy M. Johnson. Linda Margarita Salvatera Rodriguez. Amber Nicole Bertowitz. Sierra S. Cortez. Jennifer Ray Meyer. Austin Fears. <laughs> Tiffany E. Knox. <laughs> Kathy Viviana Loarca Lopez. Asanja K. Mungili. Lisa D. Salas. Alexandra Alvarez. Jennifer Franz. Kalia S. Williams. Patrick Calvin Musungwa. Erica Pringle. Jasmine A. Sosa. Some virtual participants. Brent Yax. Abigail, Abigail Grace Wiebinga, Jesse M. Taludo, Olivia C. Baldwin, Damy R. Gramejo Diaz, Ona K. Berger. Stephanie I. Hernandez. Madison Masvinez.
graduates, will you please stand? President Pink, it is my pleasure, upon the recommendation of the faculty at Grand Rapids Community College, I am honored and privileged to present the candidates for Associate of Arts, Associate of Applied Arts and Sciences, Associate of Business, Associate of Fine Arts, Associate of General Studies, Associate of Music, Associate of Nursing, Associate of Science, and certificate programs. Provost Cadetal, by the authority of vested in me as president of Grand Rapids Community College, Board of Trustees, the laws of the state of Michigan, I now confer upon each of you the, certifi the certificate, degree, and title as they apply to you individually and cite you as being worthy of all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that come with this accomplishment. Graduates, you may now shift your tassel from the right to the left. Graduates, I now, with another round of applause to follow, bestow upon you and congratulate you as the 2022 GRCC graduating class. Congratulations, you are a GRCC alumni. Graduates, have a seat for just a second, please. Friends, thank you so much for attending this afternoon. Graduates, I have one more message for you as you, as we prepare to end our time today together. Years ago, when I was in a previous uh, in role as a basketball coach, I was a basketball coach in college, and one thing as a basketball coach that we would do in talking to other coaches is as we were recruiting players to play for our team, when we would look for people who were going to be able to play inside, around the basket, be, you know, play real, real tough and physical right around the basket and score, one thing we would say about some of those players, we would say, they either play big or they don't play very big at all. And what that meant is that sometimes we would have players who were undersized with only about 6'4 or something, but they would play inside and they would play as if, I mean, they would play so hard, you would think they were 6'9 or 6'10. Those players, we'd say, although they are small, they're shorter in stature, we'd say they play big. That's someone who plays big on the court. And sometimes when we had a big player, a 6'10, 6'11, we wanted him, and in the times that I coached in women's basketball, we wanted her to play big. We wanted her to play, if she was 6'10", I wanted her to play like she was a seven-footer because it was important to play big, to play even bigger than what, you, even, than what you were or even play bigger than what you could ever imagine playing. And it was something to inspire a player who may be smaller than everyone else on the court, yet when they were able to play big, you could not tell that they were as small as they were. Or we would have a player who was really nice and tall, big body, and we would want him to play huge. We wanted him to play big because if he didn't play big, we couldn't be as successful. What I need to tell you this afternoon, friends, I need each of you to play big. I need you in your career after this, in whatever your next is, I gotta have you playing big because you are our future. You are the ones who, for many of us my age and older, I'm an old man. I need you to help me. I need you to take care of me. I need you to take care of my daughter, my son, my grandson. It's up to you. Because you are not just the future, you are our now. You are our present. And you have to play big. One of the best quotes that I know that I want to leave you with 
is a quote by Marianne Williamson. And her quote accurately says what I'm trying to tell you today. Marianne says, your playing small doesn't help our world. Your playing small doesn't help the world. If you decide to play small, if you decide to just hit bare minimum, if you decide that you just want to do this much just to get by, that's playing small. We don't need that. We're in a society today that i got to have you playing big because I've got to have you as the future of West Michigan, as the future of this great city we're in. I've got to have you playing big because you have to do even better than what any of us have ever done. I so look forward to seeing what you will do because you'll really blow us away with the great things that you will do in this world. But you're only going to do that if you play big. And I need you to play big. Your playing small does not help us. So I say to you, congratulations. We are proud of you. We love the fact that you are a part of this GRCC family. You tell, as I tell every graduating class, you leave this place and you tell everybody. You tell your friends, your family. You tell them the education that you received at this institution. Some of those folks who say, yeah, but Grant, CC, is that what? You tell them this is what CC does. This is the education they provide. They put you on a trajectory to whatever your next is. Tell people about your, your GRCC education. Don't be ashamed of it. Don't be afraid of it. Shout it out. You are one of ours. And I can assure you that there are people in this state, people in our community, people across this country who know the GRCC family. And when you tell them that you are part of this family, that you have a degree certificate from this institution, it's something that you need to be proud of because it will definitely set you on the trajectory that you want to get on. And I cannot wait to know what your next is. Friends, guests, graduates, I'm going to ask you in a minute to stand for our alma mater, and that will be a performance that is recorded by an advance by our GRCC instrumental and choral assemblies. And after that, uh, you will be instructed as far as how we will all get out of here. But I want to congratulate you one more time, the 2022 graduating class of Grand Rapids Community College. would ask that everyone at this time please stand for uh, alma mater and then we will be uh, organizationally dismissed after the playing of the alma mater. Thank you.
To conclude our 105th commencement, our faculty will honor the graduates in a recessional lineup as they exit to the Olivares Plaza. Guests, we ask that you remain seated for now while viewing the recessional on the screens. After the students have exited the building, we invite you to join your graduate and our faculty on the plaza. And I would ask just one brief favor of you. There is another ceremony after this one, so we need to clear this place out to make way for the next wave. So when it is your time to go meet your graduate, please proceed to the exits. They can't wait to share this with you. Again, congratulations to the class of 2022. I mean, I, I look, I've been looking at them, looking at them. You can, I can tell, but you know, but that's uh, fine. I mean, your average person. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was, I was ready to put another projector in here, but he didn't want me to, so I, I don't know what to do. It's uh, fine. Don't worry about it. Well, hey, I'm gonna, unless you think I need to hang out. No, you know, I don't think there's any need. It's my, it's, it's our anniversary, my wife and I. Oh no, tonight, take so, off. Yeah, yeah so. absolutely. No, no need for you to hang out, Dave. Appreciate right. you coming and making sure everything's good. Sure, for sure. Okay. Thanks. All right, take care. We'll see you. Yeah, see you. I'll be in like Too? Oh, I was. 